So recently a group of UFO experts claimed to have found a giant alien claw beneath the Peruvian desert. Allegedly the claw was found in a system of underground caves along with potentially a skull that was found in a nearby desert. The skull was supposedly elongated but they haven't given much information on that. As we can see here, the claw appears to have three fingers and possibly a thumb, it's not too clear. And what's notable is that the appendages are very long. And this obviously doesn't belong to any human unless there is some extreme deformity going on. Now, these UFO experts claim to have tested this using an official scientist and apparently it's biological material so this isn't some kind of sculpt or something like that. However, they are acting quite suspect. What they're doing is saying that they have a professional in their group but they won't divulge who he is what his qualifications are and how exactly they did these tests. They also refuse to give the exact location of where they found this which is also suspicious. I'm sure if you were to ask these people why they aren't giving us this information they'd give some kind of conspiracy theory answer like the government would take it or the site would be vandalised, something like that. But it also makes it very convenient for if they were to fabricate this in any way. Apparently samples have been sent to America for official testing. Hopefully they do get certified scientists working on this so that we can have some verified information. Because at the moment the information is very scarce. I was researching this heavily and the only places to report on this were sensational newspapers like The Sun which tend not to do much research and just stick stuff up there for shock value. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions yet. There is obviously nowhere near enough information to say this is or isn't an alien. Perhaps this is just some kind of prehistoric reptile that's been preserved very well. You will notice it has almost a talon-like appearance and a lot of birds tend to have that in their feet. So any true DNA testing should be able to debunk this. But I do have a sneaking suspicion that these UFO experts might not use a verified scientist and they might claim that one of their experts has decided that it's an alien or something like that. Which of course is heavily biased. They could be doing this to get money, to get fame. There's no way we can just trust something like that. So we'll see what happens. I'll make a follow up video if any vital information comes out. But for now, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with any updates that I find. I'll post them all there. My Twitter is in the description. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you think this is possible? Do you think it's real? Or do you smell a fake? Like the video if you did, share it with a friend. And of course if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.